Hey, so today we're going to be looking at passing generally with a bigger ball. So with a basketball, or if you don't have a basketball, you could use a soccer ball. Now, if you don't have either of those and you wanna use a tennis ball, you can, okay? But it'd be better if you had a bigger ball. And we're gonna look at four different passes with the bigger ball. So we're gonna look at chest, overhead, bounce, and shoulder pass as well for those netballers out there. So we're gonna look at those four different passes and how they go. We're always, for all of them, we're gonna step into our throw, okay? And we're going to make sure that our thumbs point down after we pass as well. So I'm gonna have a look at all four of those, okay? And let's see how we go. So they were all four of our passes with a bigger ball. Now, if you didn't have a bigger ball, you can use a smaller one. And if you didn't have a ball at all, you could use socks as well, but you might need a partner to catch it on the way back. So when we're going, you could see I'm stepping into my pass. You might also notice in my shoulder pass, I did left and right as well. So if you can pass from your left and right shoulder when you're doing your shoulder pass, That'll really help. And when you're doing the shoulder pass to have both hands coming right through, even though one is more dominant on it. And that step is so important. A, so it gives us power and accuracy. And B as well, it'll get us closer to the target that we're trying to pass to, which is really helpful if you're playing a game of basketball or netball. So I hope you enjoyed those. Now, if you want to turn that into a game or something like that, you could have a partner that you're doing just one specific pass on and it's one bounce and you've got to try and catch it as well. Or you could have some targets to aim at. You might have something on the wall so you could put up a picture for you to aim at and that's your target. Or if you have some chalk, you could go in there and you could play almost like some darts to get some points as well. So if you want to turn it into a game, that's a great way of doing it. So I hope you enjoyed my masterclass on the four different passes and have a go yourself at home. Good luck.